White Hawk 28 BHKS here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. 28 foot box, bunkhouse, kitchen slide is kind of how that breaks down. And being a Jayco, it is top shelf. Um, there are uh, a lot of lightweights out there, more now than ever before. Yet, Jayco continues to be the only one really with a true full uh, two-year warranty. I've seen other manufacturers touch a two-year warranty, but if you read it, the second year is pretty darn limited and really not very good for anything. We're going to get dug in here because there's a lot to hit on. Like the fact that not just a power awning, because those seem to be standard issue nowadays, but very long, higher grade, it moves in and out faster. And notice that Jayco does include a full length light strip. I've seen some manufacturers try to just cheat and put an 8 or 10 foot light strip in the middle. Um, I mentioned the two year warranty, they're proud of that because again it is a pretty uncommon feature. They have double the warranty duration of almost any brand out there, especially in lightweights. Um, these frameless windows on White Hawk now, standard issue, they look stellar and they also uh, hide the seal under the window pane. This is a UV tinted window pane. See how we can't see in the trailer, we can only see reflections? Well, that is also reflecting the, the UV rays that would damage your slide seals, or pardon me, window seals. Um, the uh, White Hawk has a very large front passenger storage compartment. A lot of folks wonder, why is there an outlet right here? That is a standard thing. All front storage compartments in White Hawks are the same. If this, uh, this one happens to have an outside kitchen back there that we haven't got to yet. If it didn't, it would have an option for an outside mini fridge right here. So they kind of include that for you. But you also have a big honking compartment space in here with LED lighting. Even outside in the baggage compartment you have LED lighting. Now these doors are fully laminated. Some manufacturers will have a nice thick frame and then just a skin on top. Well, there's no... There's no insulation there otherwise. Um, you know, if there's no insulation, that's right under your bed. All the heat is going to pour out from under you and you're going to freeze, you know, especially if you go uh, spring or fall camping. We have upgraded to add the uh, nose cap on here. This is a very sharp looking painted cap that's going to continue to look good over time. Um, color infused caps will save you a dollar or two, but they sun fade so darn fast. Um, also, all LED lights up here on the nose, 100% even these nice little cool spotlights they can hitch up at night. With the power tongue, uh, power awning, we have a power tongue jack, and again, higher grade. It's one of those things that you can't really appreciate until you use it a few times, then you see how slowly some of the others work. Um, now, they've still uh, incorporated diamond plate up here on their lightweights. Uh, more and more lightweight brands are finally starting to get on that bandwagon. But uh, usually brands with uh, a front nose cap have no stone deflection up front. Below this band, this is where most stones are going to get flung from your, your vehicle's tires. Well, you're, over time you're just going to ding up your nose cap. So Jayco found the solution like they always do. Only um, 68 or 6,900 pounds depending on how this one's equipped by the way. So still very easily half ton towable even though it does have two slide outs. Not only are we looking at, uh, we've added the Glacier package to this one, and I want to mention that's not a standard feature either. There's a lot of non-standard equipment present in this video. Um, this is kind of stock footage. Double check, you know, if you're on just YouTube or something, click over to our website to see how the exact White Hawk we have in stock is equipped for you and your family. Oh, I forgot to mention this previously. We have wide stance stability axles on here. These are great because they're spread uh, extra space apart. And basically it's the whole concept of if someone pushes you and your feet are spread apart, you have stability. But if your feet are really close together, you're going to fall down. And it's just that's just the logic. That's just how it works. Little outside shower over here. Not a major item, but uh, in a bunkhouse like this, if you're, uh, you've got your kids and they're going down by the lake, you're going to want to wash that fish smell off them before they roll all over your new furniture. Um, we have a direct bathroom entry door here. This is a, a more recent changeover, something that they're getting really big into down there. And it will cut down on so much foot traffic in here. It's not even funny. It will take so much dirt out of your RV because they walk straight in, toilet, out. This is uh, either the number one or number two reason that they're in here. No, no pun intended. The refrigerator is the other one. And you have an outside fridge. Um, I love that flooring in here too. That's another recent update. Also, this is a friction sprung door. You see that it can't fly open and smack against the trailer. You have to really heave that thing. And it still did. Look at that. Um, roof ladder on here. That's another option that we've added to this particular trailer. We typically, this is how we're going to uh, equip a 28 BH guess most of the time. But there's always that outside chance that maybe for a, a, due to a parts availability, we weren't able to get exactly what we would normally carry on here. Again, just, just be conscious that. 
Call us, we'll tell you exactly what's on our campers. Fully walkable roof. This has a, a Magnum Truss roof system that Jayco's used for a long time. And go talk to my service department and ask them, when's the last time you uh, had a Jayco with a roof problem? And they're going to look at you and go, huh? And that's pretty much going to be the end of it right there. Uh, the uh, outside kitchen here, we've got Dad's medicine cabinet where you keep all the barley pop. That's a good thing. Um, even outside here, we have full ball bearing drawer glides and full plywood box construction on our drawers. Just because it's not in your living space doesn't mean they start to skimp on their construction. Looking down in here, they do have a large pocket in this area as well as uh, uh, power outlets up here. So you can use this like for griddle country. This could be microwave space. It could be anything you want. And you've got your uh, cooktop over here for side dishes. Now, if you see a bracket on the bumper, that's a dead giveaway that this camper includes an RVQ grill. So this one in this video does. Typically, in a uh, outside kitchen Jayco, we're going to include that. We add that uh, uh, right along with it. I say typically because, again, sometimes parts are in sh uh, short supply. Um, now, this is another cool thing. Your outside kitchen has a magnetic door latch, so you don't have to have a six-foot wingspan to try to hook up uh, plastic holdback latches on both sides. So this is a true one-hand operated door. Very cool stuff. Latch it right down, hit the road. That's it. Um, we have an outside entertainment center here. Living room TV is going to... Uh, hmm, is that included or is that an option? I don't know. We include it in every White Hawk I've ever seen. Uh, but that's one of those things that could be an option. Sorry about that. I try to stay up to date on that stuff, but it changes so fast. However, they do include an outside entertainment center here. You can either move the inside TV out here, or you can go to any big box store and get a second TV just to have a dedicated outside TV. This bracket's on the outside, and it is solid. You cannot just accidentally bump that thing off. However, there is an easy quick release latch right here so that it can jump right off for you whenever you want. You have to get very friendly with that thing, so it will not just pop off the side. Um, Furion outside speakers right here. This is a really cool thing because Furion Electronics, which is all you're going to see used in this Jayco, they're uh, higher grade. They're, they're ideal for marine and RV applications. Long story short, you can get this camper hotter and colder before you might experience component failure, and you can shake the whole trailer harder before that can happen too. Uh, just like that bathroom door, this is also a friction sprung door you see that it did not slam the side of the trailer the other thing i like about it on your big entry door is it means you don't have to have a hold back down here and it means that sharp little corner is further away from the walking space it's further away from the kids uh and their shoulders you know they're not going to get uh clipped big thing i like to talk about on these because it's an imperceptible thing from just a video this is a wider entry door jaco uses wider entry doors so that when you are out here grilling you, you know, you're carrying your platter stuff in. You don't have to try to do the, the sideways tap dance walk to get inside your RV. You don't have to deal with any of that. Shut the door behind me here so we don't have any surprise guests. Now, this is something I really like in these. Not only are they all LED lights, but they're all just on one switch. And look at how it just comes to life from dead to life, just like that. Um, we have a arched barreled interior roof so it's uh like six foot ten inches just under seven foot tall at the apex there um you see the uh, skylight here adding some extra light for us it does a fantastic job of adding some extra ambient light it's just really overcast right now this is another cool thing i really like and it really brightens it up in here there's a, a handy little switch hidden right under here nice slide out accent light and it is such a cool classy touch and look how this thing just transformed um you know from just dismal to really bright and fun now this is the shadow decor this is a, a darker leatherette material uh, with some mid-tone accents thrown into the cushions here i want to mention that because again not every 28 bh chaos is going to have this exact fabric pattern if a different one comes in i'll take photos of that and incorporate that in our listing so if you see pictures uh, you can depend on that being very accurate um, we will typically upgrade these to a larger air conditioner. That's one of those things that always looks the same in a photo, though. So double check our listing. This is a full trifold memory foam hide bed by the way. So this is a bigger sleeper. So not only do we have two big bunks back here for two, four, uh, six sleeping space, eight in the bedroom. And if you had to, you could fold that down. If they're little kids, maybe two realistically. That's a one-person sleeper, and your dinette's going to be the last thing you ever use for sleeping. All windows will open for cross ventilation. You get good airflow in here. Uh, I mentioned all lights are LED. They're also really easy to manage individually. Um, you see that tote 
sticking out of this dinette base here. That's something that is a very classic feature that's really starting to make a comeback here, and I love it. It's so handy. One, they weigh nothing. Two, you can use them inside, outside. They're waterproof. Three, it's just easy. If the kids are sitting here eating lunch or grabbing a snack or something, you don't have to tell them to get up. You don't have to disassemble your dinette just to get to your storage. It's just so much easier. Um, let's uh let's just kind of keep sweeping around here we glanced at the bathroom from the outside from the interior angle here's here's what she's going to look at i had a door stopper down here to hold it open um we do have a porcelain stool not plastic because again this is upper scale and this has a massive shower it's a shower fit for two if you are so inclined and if you are also so inclined, you'll get a chance to see my balding hairline and the fact that I'm 6'3 and don't have to duck to put my head in this shower. Even when my head is not in the, uh, the, the skylight bubble, there's still headroom in here. I also like the fact that all of these things, these fixtures, are mounted on an angle because that's more natural and organic and that's how you're going to use it. I see trailers where things are mounted flat to the wall and that doesn't make sense. When the mirror is flat against the wall, you have to have your backside sticking out into this hallway just to try to like shave or comb your hair or do anything with it. It doesn't make sense. Um, let me back up here, give us a little more of a panoramic view before I zoom in again. Um, gorgeous kitchen space in here. Now, one of the things I like about this is that your kitchen space with this island, because this is a slide over here, this is that kitchen slide. When you have a dedicated kitchen space like this, people are going to walk around the kitchen. They're not going to interfere with anything that's happening over here. This is the Campsite Cook's Dream Kitchen right here because they finally get to operate unimpeded. Uh, standard, Whitehawk has an 8 cubic foot refrigerator freezer. This is 33% larger than a standard fridge. So hungry guys like me can, you know, stuff ourselves silly because, frankly, I look for any reason to stuff myself silly and I'm willing to bet you're not much different. Um, but your three big appliances, the big fridge, microwave, stove, they're in the slide, they're off the floor plan, creating this extra walking space in here. This also adds way more storage to the kitchen with all of these big pull-out drawers right here. Extra countertop space. This is a real backsplash, by the way. More LED spotlights. Um, we have, again, power outlets here so that we can run our coffee makers and our blenders and griddles and all that. Speaking of that... We have outlets on both sides of the island as well. So this is a very multi-function space right here. We have a big honking sink. You can actually clean big stuff in there, prep big meals in there. Um, the uh, Oh, the, the whole island is pure storage. And this spot even includes a trash can. It's amazing how many RVs don't include a trash can. It blows me away. If you don't have one, you have to take your you know, Walmart, Target, Meyer bags, tie them to that handle... And it looks ugly. It's tacky. It looks rednecky. It works. But, ugh. You didn't just invest this kind of money to tie a plastic bag to a handle, did you? It just doesn't make sense to me. Um, huge convertible storage space right here. So, this is what I call the socks drawer. This is where you're going to have socks and underwear for the kids over here. And as weird as that sounds, having socks and underwear near your living space, if you've been camping with kids, you know that's a sock drawer. Um huge pantry again you can sleep nine people in here easily ten if you're really cramming them in nose to toes you gotta feed them especially if i'm camping with you you need more food um the uh, uh space over here can be convertible into an expanded pantry this could be a linen space this could be uh extra clothing you see that there's a hanging rod up here it could be a wardrobe and this shelf can move out of the way to accommodate that hanging storage so this space can do whatever you want you have double double bunks in uh, your uh, White Hawk here. 600 pound uh, bunk capacity on the upper bunk. The bottom bunk is not rated because you can't overload it because there's so much construction under it. It's just not an issue. Now, awesome little detail stuff. Every bed gets its own little night light. I didn't flip the switch on in here. Every bed gets its own little night light. Here, let me, let me fix this real quick. We have the technology, we can make this happen. There we go. Uh, they also get their own uh, little nightstand. Uh, the upper and lower bunk have the same thing. They have a little charging station for phones, devices, anything that you need. Every space has its own light and own um, bedside stand. Also, Jayco uses Denver mattresses even in their bunks. This is 50% thicker than the garbage you're going to find out there most of the time. And they're using this new teddy bear covering, which is just really fun to play with. <laughs> it's also very warm, so uh, your kids will stay warmer in there. Flipping around the view from the bunks right here. 
looking forward toward the entertainment center. Just give you a nice sweeping view so you get to see uh, the, the shape of the whole thing. Your entertainment center is pure storage. They opened up the side pockets over here. Perfect DVD shelf. Now, um, your uh, TV is mounted in this spinning entertainment center, and they finish it off nicely with a big mirror. So even if you're not watching TV, this is providing light from reflected uh, light from reflected uh, reflected light from windows or lights. Woo! I got smoke coming out of my ears after that one. Um, so to make everything seem bigger. So if you're stuck inside on a rainy day then you do, you're, you're not going to feel claustrophobic. You're not going to want to just, you know, strangle each other. The uh, entertainment system, I told you everything's Furion. AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, uh, slices, dices, Julienne's act now kind of situation. It does everything, basically. Shoe garage. Doesn't seem like a big deal. Just seems like a hole in a cabinet. But it gives you a place to put all your shoes. And if you've ever been camping in a bunkhouse, I bet you dollars to donuts. you got a pile of shoes by the door. Now you don't have to. Now they give you a space for all those. Um, grandpas, grandpas, moms and dads, children of all ages, you will recognize this as the timeout chair. Nobody likes it when we need to use the timeout chair. But sometimes, you know, it's not about liking, it's about necessity. It's also a really handy little boot box or toy chest or anything like that. I love that they give you a place to hang some coats right when you walk in here. Uh, Mom and Dad have a nice little privacy door right here. And you can be very friendly with this thing. It's not going to pop out of place. The, the uh, you know, fit and finish, the mechanism they have going on here, they're doing just an ace job down there. They're really making something that holds up to uh, long-term road use and abuse, really. You also have two reading spotlights under the bed I don't have kicked on, but that's how good these lights are. With just one light kicked on, blam, the whole bedroom lights up. We have an extra large wardrobe on this side because they did leave that space for the mini fridge under here. A lot of people wondered why this is bigger than that. It's because of that mini fridge pocket under here. You also have big bedside stand with uh, not only household outlets, but a twin USB plug as well. So again, charging devices, super, super easy in a white hog. Folks have asked, why is there a shelf in here? Because there doesn't have to be a shelf in here. They give you more options, more storage, more potential, more value, I suppose. I also like the handy little um, pocket uh, space back here. That's very nice to keep like watches and um, Oh, uh, wallets, the valuable stuff like that. And uh, let's see, the bed here, this is a Denver pillow top mattress. Anywhere you sleep in a Jayco, just like the rear bunks, they spend more money. Uh, this is way better than the blue wafer mattress you tend to get in most lightweights. It is far more comfortable. Um, the uh, Lifting this up here, it is on struts for easy storage. And uh, you have more of these little tote arrangements here like we saw under the dinette. So not only do you have uh, you know, um, a bigger storage pocket under the bed, you just also have easier access to things. Um, I have gone way over my expected time allotment on this, but there's still a lot to cover. So please give us a call, 800-256-5196, Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. You know, a lot of dealers are going to say, uh, yo, no, man, we, we go really above and beyond for our customers. I hope you see that we've already done that before you even picked up the phone. Before we've met you, we've probably gone more in depth on this trailer than most dealers you've already talked to. So c consider that. Imagine what we do once we have met you. That's what we do here. We make customers for life and we sell them one at a time. So give us a ring. 800-256-5196. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.